One of the things that breaks the heart of parents is when their child prays for the reconciliation of mommy and daddy's marriage. And the daddy or the mommy just sits there and just listens and they their hearts are aching because as standards, they feel powerless. Often, the prodigal spouse either A, finds out that their kids have been praying for mommy and daddy's reconciliation, or they pray those prayers in front of the prodigal mommy or daddy. And every single time, the prodigal spouse reaches out to the standing spouse and says, tell our child, tell your child, whatever, to stop praying that we get back together. You're just filling his or her heads with thoughts of something that will never happen. So get it out of their heads. I've seen where a spouse, a standing spouse, excuse me, a prodigal spouse will actually take it to the courts and actually say, and, and to a psychologist and say, they're ruining our child. They're actually trying to make them think that we can get back together. And that's torturous to the child. Who I tell you so many things, but very few gets me as angry as that. Because the irony is, as the prodigal spouse, they can't stand that they have caused their child pain, that their child is begging God for the reconciliation that the prodigal spouse thinks isn't going to happen, that the standing spouse prays will happen, but that the child is grieved until it happens. The prodigal spouse can't stand the idea that they and their decisions, despite the fact that society has said, oh, kids are resilient, are ripping their kids' hearts out. If you are a prodigal spouse, I'm sorry, again, my anger just gets brought up on this one. If you are a prodigal spouse and you think your standing spouse is doing that to your child, you might want to think again. Kids would rather have mommy and daddy in the same house, even fighting and angry, not hitting each other, of course, than to be apart. Because that child is in the most selfish stage of his or her life, the all about me phase. And it should be all about them because they were created out of your love, whether or not you think that there was any love at that point. They are a product of your union. I'm sorry if you are the standing spouse that has to deal with this. I'm sorry if your spouse is saying you won't get any custody of your child. And I got the court to agree because you have twisted our child's mind. I'm sorry that that happens, but I will say fight it with every ounce of your being. And if your child does pray for mommy and daddy to get back together, hear their words. Don't add anything to it and just say, baby, it's okay. Jesus hears prayers. Now, for those of us that aren't, that may have forgotten, I just have to do this just to make sure I don't read the wrong verse. When the prodigal spouse says, you're giving our child false hope, God has other words. Because just as he says in Romans 5, 5, hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in all of our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Hope never disappoints. The prodigal spouse wants to say, oh, hope is hurting the child. Actually, no. Especially if you're prodigal and you call yourself a Christian, then you need to rethink what your God, our God, the Lord Jesus Christ has said. Hope never disappoints. So if you think you're never getting back together and your spouse thinks you are, it's irrelevant. Allow your child the hope in believing the marriage will be reconciled because that is what will give your child peace. That is what will not disappoint. If you destroy hope in the heart of that child, that's what will destroy the child when they feel it's hopeless. Hope is spoken of several times in the Bible. I think in Proverbs, Proverbs 28, 23, 18. Surely there is a future and your hope will not be cut off. You will be rewarded for this. Your hope will not be disappointed. Anywhere in the Bible that we find a talk on hope, it is saying hope 
is good. Hope doesn't disappoint. So for the standing spouse, as difficult as it may be, do not manipulate your child's prayers. Do not try to say, say this in front of mom or, or even don't say, don't say this in front of mom. You just tell your child, you pray to God any way that you want because God always hears you and God will never disappoint. Your hope will not disappoint. Don't tell them anything that you don't know to be true. Like mommy will be home. Daddy will be home for sure. You just tell them, I love you. I'm sorry that you're hurting. I'm here for you, baby. And I hope mommy comes home too. I hope daddy comes home too. But until then, we're going to love him, her. We're going to pray for mommy or daddy. And we're going to let God do the rest. It's a tough place to be. Your job as a parent is to give that child peace. As I say all the time, all you need to do is the standing parent. You always do what is right. Let the consequences fall with God. I'm Dr. Christine Bacon. Thanks again for watching this Bacon Bit. And as always, live your life sunny side up.